Nerevar, I do not know why you ask to play all the time. It's futile to try and win against a god. Against me, Dagoth Ur, you come unprepared every time, and I am starting to wonder if you're mocking me. All right, I'll say no blocks and go to two. Okay, Nerevar, prepare to face my crippling crush. What do you mean you win the game? Yes, I know the Kodachis hit me this turn, but I already took the damage. Yes, I know reading the card explains the card, but I don't even know where this card came from. It's from the new set, Outsiders? How do you even have that card? The set doesn't come out for another two weeks. Legend Story Studios gave it to you early to reveal? Well, that's certainly some reveal, all right, making a fool of me in my own abode. I hope Azura reincarnates you as a yellow stony Wootenhog, a piece of cardboard so worthless I shed a tear for the unmourned tree that was cut down to create it. Fine, then I'll just block the card. Oh, of course you have a razor reflex. Hey everyone, I'm here to introduce Stabu. This is an assassin ninja attack action card. As it was shown in the video, uh, when it hits, your opponent's gonna lose X life or X is the number of times that daggers have hit them this turn. Hope you enjoyed the little short meme, I guess. Uh, if you haven't played Morrowind, I'm sorry that I accidentally left you out of the joke. Uh, this segment with me talking will be in here over the weekend, and then I'll just trim this out probably, and it'll just be the joke if you wanna come back to it for whatever reason. Regardless, I'm here to talk about the card. Now, just like pure raw stab Value, it's pretty cool you know it's a blue block three zero cost pitch and it attacks for two on the normal stat line so obviously like the first thought that i had was like oh this is like really good in ira obviously you have a blue block three that pitches the, the kadachis the only issue is it doesn't have combo it gets like less value with things like flick flack which also may be an issue in something like katsu you also can't tutor for this with katsu's ability even though that would be pretty cool but i think like benji would really benefit from a card like this if your opponent you know takes the kadachis on like a go wide turn and you can play stab wound that essentially has unblockable something like arachne as well because we also have to remember this is an assassin card as well so we have to think about this with spider's bite which can be pretty good actually um especially if your opponent for instance takes both spider's bites before you put stab wound if we're going to talk about like maximum value so if they were going to block an attack action card that card only blocks for one so they'd actually have to block two cards on the stab wound to stop the effect not super sure about azuri uh, which was actually spoiled yesterday by red sun rogue so if you haven't seen that go check it out but essentially her hero ability is going to swap cards so a stealth card gets swapped for a card in your hand on the combat chain in the reaction step so it's one of those cards that i think like could be clearly a staple in a lot of decks just because the raw stat line is really good blue block three zero cost attacks for two like the baseline's good the upside is really good so at best it's a zero for four that's a blue which is pretty sick it's like a very flavorful card and i really like it feels like something you would see in welcome to rate this feels like a card that easily could have been in wtr uh, that would be a really fun like limited card that would be like a fun combat trick because obviously you can attack react this as well you can get hit by razor reflex with a card like this so i like the design space of the card it's like has the potential to be above value but your opponent can deny it really easily but your opponent has to be aware of the card existing and there are ways for you to like maximize value with it but like the stat lines are good probably the more exciting part about it is the fact that it's dual class we just have like a dual class majestic that both heroes can run and that's really cool because that obviously would lead into a lot of potential design space for other heroes and we're seeing that now with outsiders we're getting like these mixed class cards where like you can play them in one deck or the other like entirely different classes you know we've seen that so far with the assassin ranger cards so these cards that can be split between decks i'm sure we're going to see it um for other heroes as well in the future but this one's really cool getting a mix assassin and ninja is really really cool to me yeah i'm just here to share uh you know the good news about uh stab wound and of course don't forget that you should actually go out and play this in person and go check out the pre-release events which are going to be march 17th through the 20th and then also the full release which will be a week later i really am excited for the sealed and draft format for this you know of course having six heroes having dual class cards and we're also going to get that with equipment as well like that's really cool to me and i'm really excited to try out the draft format and try out the sealed format and also personally my favorite draft format is Welcome to Wraith, and this has been discussed as being the closest thing to Welcome to Wraith since Welcome to Wraith in terms of a limited format. And so that is just that is just good news to my ears, and I am excited to give it a shot. Until next time, thank you for watching.